It's so good. This looks like a bad idea. That is exquisite. Welcome to Lower in the Bar. I'm your host, Vibs. Inventions provide societies with new tools, medicines, processes to make life easier. This next creation does none of that. This invention comes to the mind of John Feidelberg. This combines gummy sour candy and peanut butter cups to create a treat that tastes just like PB&J. Practical? No. Delicious? That's for Barstool to find out. But first, this episode is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee is veteran-owned while giving back to the troops. And the best way for you to enjoy fresh coffee from all over the world is to join the coffee club. And you can do so by going to blackriflecoffee.com slash bar. Now, onto the episode. Fights, welcome back to Lowering the Bar. Thank you, Vibs. Today, we are going to be trying a creation of your own. Yes. The spicy PB&J sandwich, mm. which consists of one mini peanut butter cup and two sour gummy children. That's about the recipe I do it, yes. Okay, would you consider Fights to have good ideas or bad ideas? I think he's very hit or miss. I think some of his ideas are great. They're revolutionary. I think some are horrible. Depends on the day. I think he's got a lot of good ideas. I think he's got a lot of bad ideas, but the bad ideas are some of his best. He has gross ideas. His ideas mostly are just disgusting and revolting almost at all times, just like he is. I think John Feidelberg himself would admit that he is a bad idea. It's tough to say he has bad ideas after Saturday for the Boys goes ballistic and Casey Musgraves is stealing shit from him. So it's very tough to say he's a bad idea guy, but this looks like a bad idea. I honestly think he is one of the great minds of this generation. And I'm not kidding about that. John Flattelberg has the best ideas if you don't have any shame. Have you ever created your own snack? Your own in Yes, actually. Yes. Yes. So after a long day at the office, mm -hmm. you know, two hours, um, I go home. Overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I go home and I have a bag of circus peanuts and I push a cashew in them. So it's a nice little crunch on the inside of a circus peanut. I'll dip any kind of cracker or pretzel or something into cream cheese. I'm big on cream cheese. I mean, I've put Nutella on top of popcorn before. I've melted it, but I don't think that's creating it. I think that's just being hot. Barbecue sauce and buffalo sauce combined, barbacuffalo. I don't know if that's a <laughs> snack. That's more of an entree. I also invented this sauce called barbacuffalo sauce, oh. where you mix barbecue sauce and you take that and you mix it with buffalo sauce, like Frank's Red Hot, mm -hmm. so it's like a spicy barbecue sauce that I made. That's a genius idea. I know it is. I love that. So this is called, yeah, the spicy PB&J. That the name spicy doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Right, there's no heat. The spicy comes from the sour, and the PB&J comes from the chocolate and peanut butter. Right. All right, so all we do is we put them on top there and we eat it all at once. Yes. And that is a spicy PB&J. Spicy PB&J. I'm a huge fan of both of these candies. Am I a huge fan of them combined? I do not know. This is today's Lowering the Bar. This is today's Lowering the Bar. I, I literally ate this last weekend at the gambling house, but it was it was peanut butter M&Ms. The first time that I tried this, I was forcibly made, I mean, I, I, it was like, you will try this. And then I had to admit how good it is. The only reason I'm still sitting here, I already know this. Yeah. I'm sitting here because I want to do it again. Mm -hmm. I want to eat it again. I'm just mad that I have to eat this because he said it's good. So how should I do this? Should I go two of them on top and below? Do you make a little sandwich out of it or do you let them sit on top? Uh, I, I, I go like this and I bite. I, 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 I bite this in half. It's a two biter. Yeah. I haven't done everyone one bite. I'm gonna do it all one bite and just let the flavors kind of. All right. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Yep. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. You went sideways? Uh, what? I was gonna ask you, are you doing this side or this side? You went fucking sideways? Mm. This is my baby, weird. Not bad. It's just weird. I like this new Vibs. The kind, kindler, gentler Vibs. It does taste like peanut butter and jelly. It does. Tastes kind of exactly how I'd expect. Stuck on my cheese. I hate it. What's wrong with you? I don't have like eight of them. It's so good. It's really not that bad. Right? <laughs> The smoothness of the Reese's peanut butter cup and the tanginess of the Sour Patch is a good combo. Getting peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am getting peanut butter and jelly. You know what's fucking crazy? It tastes just like a PB&J. It tastes like you took a big bite and you had to 
That really does taste like a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can taste the texture, you can kind of, taste like you took a big bite. That tastes like a peanut butter and jelly, I did not expect that. I'm at the point where it was, you, it's unmistakably a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> and like, it does taste like a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I, it's not for me, but I, I see really? why. I, I like it a lot. I don't like it. I, I don't like it, I think, because I hate the gummy candy. I don't like it. It immediately got stuck on my teeth. Ruined the experience. Ruined the Reese's. They should be, I'm sorry. It ruined the peanut butter cup. Thank you. They should be on their own. I actually know exactly what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Once the chocolate and peanut butter melts over that. It does taste like jelly for some reason. That sugary jelly. If I could get high and eat this, it would be the best thing ever. He calls this a spicy PB and J. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. I think that was very good. Yeah. All right, hey, fights. This was a home run. I imagine this is what peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly would taste like, but I don't know, because I've never had it. That's innovation. I feel like weed smokers get credit for innovation. Feidelberg is just innovating wantonly. Just on his free time, he's just out there innovating. Do you think it tastes like a peanut butter sandwich? No, I really don't. Do you think it's because you have the wrong ratio? <laughs> no, I think it's because I think it's because I can tell the difference between a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a and a sour child. Would you say it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No, doesn't. No, not even texture wise. No. Oh my god, doesn't taste like the best homemade peanut butter and jelly your mom's mm -hmm. ever made you. It does taste good. It flavors. I think the blue. I haven't had two reds. Why did you just spit it out? Because I'm very rich. It's genius. Is it though? Because why wouldn't you just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich rather than the one that has about 30 times the sugar? <laughs> the peanut butter and jelly it sandwich. It tastes worse. Dude, at the end, it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. That's, it leaves your tongue like any, yeah. You know what it is? The chocolate is all melted away. Mm -hmm. And it's that residue of this that's really hitting home. Like, because you just had chocolate, your brain is thinking this is obviously jelly. What's the consensus on the results? I gotta, if it's not 100% on my side, I'll be curious. Fights, mad genius or mad man? Mad genius. Mad I genius really, I, I think this was very good. Better, it, it, it tastes good. I expected it to taste good, but I didn't expect it to taste as much like a PB&J sandwich as it does. It, That's what surprised me. John Feidelberg. Mm -hmm. Mad genius, mad man. Oh. It's both. Whoa. It's both. And we are lucky to have it. Definitely tastes like PB&J. Do you want a PB&J taste all the time, or do you want it to taste like a Reese's cup, and then also taste like a Sour Patch? Yeah, I, I would rather eat these candies Separately. separate. Yeah. So that part, I don't think he is a genius. I think he's a genius for calling out the fact that when you eat these two things combined, it absolutely tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. I don't like this at all. And who's gonna take the time to do this? Like, who? how many can you eat, really? Like, you've said you've eaten three and you're sick of it. Like, how many do you wanna eat? You just wanna eat a whole handful of them? I look forward to the day that Reese's and Sour Patch Kids team up, make a bag of this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't say, mention me at all, and make a ton of money off it. There's always a thin line between insanity and genius. That's right, Frank. A thin, thin line. All right. All right there, Frank, thank you.